Hi, I'm Carolyn Kindred. I'm the chairman for the 2012 Quilt Show for Tyler. We're the Azalea Quilt Show. Our theme this year is from the USA to Asia, quilts around the world. You're looking at our challenge blocks. Each guild member was invited to participate in the challenge block and they purchased a packet that had a square of black flat fabric and it had two small pieces of Asian fabric. And since Asia is part of our theme, we chose to have an Asian motif. And each guild member was invited to interpret that in her or his own way. We do have some male members. But we got 45 blocks back and we're excited to display them. They're all different and unique. They are judged by our quilt show judge and she doesn't award one single ribbon. Everyone gets a ribbon, but she chooses them on workmanship. Blue ribbons are better workmanship. Uh, average workmanship is the red and needs improvement are the white ribbons. So as you can see, everyone gets a ribbon in the challenge block. As you can see, we have many genres of quilting. This is just one category here. These are still the bed size quilts. Some of our quilts are quilted by long arm quilters. Some, many are hand quilted. We have one of the largest categories of hand quilted quilts in the area and we're very proud of it. But these are different genres of quilting that you'll see in here and they're every one beautiful with lots of quilting on them. As we continue down the row, you will continue to see more quilts. This one is a Dear Jane. It's a very popular pattern and it requires many hours and a lot of years of work to complete a Dear Jane quilt. We're always excited to get those. And they tend to have more of the Civil War fabrics in the Dear Jane. And this one is a, a quilt that's, that's got um, some poofiness to it, some trapunto as we call it and that makes that quilt interesting. This one behind me is a very good sampler and it has a little bit of trapunto in it, a lot of applique. This is a Lone Star quilt and I, I have an investment in this quilt, it's not mine. But the investment is, it is a very dear friend of mine who is a new uh, professional quilter. And she had this quilt and did not know how to finish it. She says, what do I do? What do I do? I've got all this white space. And I said, McTavish it. And she said, I don't know what McTavishing is. So we sat down and started drawing some little S curves. And I said, go home and do that and put it on the quilt. And it really set the quilt off. I was really excited about it. She didn't get a big ribbon, but I think it's a gorgeous quilt. This is one of our blue ribbon winners. And I know the quilter on this one. I know many of the quilts. This quilt was done with machine embroidery and machine applique. And a, a real good friend of mine made the top and another good friend of mine did the quilting. Uh, the quilter is uh, Karen Denny and the maker of the quilt is Jean Crotty. And I know that Jean has been working on this quilt for about three years and finally finished it. I'm so excited she got a blue ribbon. I'm excited about this quilt because a lot of people theme their quilts for Asia. This one is based on South America and she used South American fabrics in her quilt and I think it's just gorgeous. I love it when quilters try to do something different. They use new fabrics or new techniques. Oh, another favorite of mine is here. It's called Let's Go Dutch. If you're not familiar with fine art, you need to know that these are copies of Van Gogh. Not Van Gogh, I'm sorry. Yeah, Van Gogh and Vermeer but it's called Let's Go Dutch, and this person is an artist. She does more work than just quilting, and so she included her love of art with her love of quilting. Let me show you another set of quilts that I'm very excited about. This is a non-guild member. 
I got the application for these quilts in the mail. They were mailed to us. We will mail them back. I have not had the opportunity to meet this wonderful quilter. But I love her theme. I love her subject and I love her work. I think it is absolutely gorgeous. And she got two ribbons on there. I think she should have gotten more. You will occasionally see where we've got the same pattern on a quilt close together. This was a class. We took a class from uh, Deb Maddie, and she taught us the pattern called Labyrinth. It is a wonderful pattern because there's no Y seams in it, which are not fun to do. And we had a ball doing it. And we have two quilts that are from that same class. And as you can see, each one of them is very different. It's fun to see work like that, that you go from one quilter to another and you see a different in style and a different in colors. Can you guess how many fabrics it took to make this quilt? It took one fabric. We take the fabric and we cut it up in 60 degree triangles, put them together in a hexagon and create an entirely new pattern and that's called a one block wonder. I love making these quilts. This is not mine but they're fun to make. Okay I get to brag. This is my quilt. I'm very excited about it. It didn't take a ribbon but that's okay. It was a very special quilt I did. It's called a, um, a French braid. It looks hard but it isn't. And this quilt I did in September, it's a hard month for me because in September I remember that that's the month I lost my son and that's the month of 9-11 and it's a hard time for me and I wanted to do something that made me feel better. So I entitled this September Sunset and I put the quilt out during that time and it helped me get through a really difficult period in my life. But it's a real special quilt to me. The quilt here is by a quilter, her name is Sarah Francis. Sarah normally does hand quilting and normally takes the blue ribbon in hand quilting. She didn't hand quilt this year and this is a style we've never seen her do. So it's fun to watch quilters change their style and go into an area that they've never done before. I'm going to show you some quilts that have something in them that, that you may remember from grandmas but we've taken it a step further. Most of us have grandmas that embroidered. And this is the type of quilt we remember seeing from our grandma's embroider. Here's another one that we may remember from, from one of our granny's quilts. But look at the embroidery work on this one. This is where we've advanced in quilting. It has become art. And I'm gonna show you three more quilts that are alike that contain embroidery and the work is amazing. One of the producers of embroidered quilts is a company called Crabapple Hill. And this is their, one of their newer patterns and it's called Over the River and Through the Woods. That is an Over the River and Through the Woods. This is an Over the River and Through the Woods. And if we go around the corner, I'll show you a third one. And they're every one different, even though it's the same pattern. Here's our third Over the River and Through the Woods. And as you can see, even though it's the same pattern, they all have a different feel because of the color and the background chosen by the quilter. Here's an example of some of the small quilts that we had in our show, and they're just gorgeous. <clears throat> this little quilt has an interesting story. I have a friend that produced a one block wonder, and she had fabric left over. She cut her triangles down much smaller and created a mini one block wonder. The lady who made this quilt, her name is Serena Varnack. She is one of 82 people who are certified to judge quilt shows by the National Quilt Association. We have another member who is also an NQA judge. I think we are the only quilt guild in East Texas that has two NQA judges. But Serena made this quilt for her nephew and it is one of the quilts that we refer to as the victory quilts for the men. Most of them go to men who, and women who have suffered injuries. But I think it's a beautiful example of, of a quilt for a service person and you can see who it was for. But she made this for her nephew and I think it's lovely. I have one I wanna show you. 
Our theme for next year is Red and White Renaissance. Excuse me. This will be our challenge, our, our donation quilt for next year. We will display it and sell opportunities to win this quilt. And the, um, the guild that did this is called Blazing Needles. And they put it out fast, but it is a gorgeous quilt. It is Civil War fabrics, and it is in a Civil War design. But this will be our, our donation quilt for next year. And each, challenge, each guild member has been challenged to produce at least one all red and white quilt for next year. We'll have a special display of red and white quilts. And I'm excited to see that this one took an honorable mention. This is a Judy Niemeyer pattern. A Judy Niemeyer produces art quilts. And this is a paper piece pattern. And I'm seeing more and more of Judy's patterns, not only in the shows, but also in the quilt shops. But I think they're gorgeous quilts, mostly done in batiks. And batiks are fun to work with. It, they have a very different feel because of the dyeing process. They're, they are washed, they are waxed, they are dyed, then the wax is washed out again. And they go through several washings and they're very, very dense fabric. They don't lend themselves to some things like hand quilting. It's work to get a needle through them when you're hand quilting. But they do very well for paper piecing and uh, some of the other genres that we use. But I love the material, I love the pattern. This is a very traditional quilt. It was produced by Annie Rosser. Annie has left uh, attending, the. she's still a member of the guild, but she doesn't attend anymore. Annie has had to leave Tyler. She is living in Dallas, closer to her daughter. Uh, we are an aging guild, and so our members leave us occasionally, but we did get this one from Annie. And normally Annie hand quilts her quilts. This year she got a quilter to do for it. This is called a feathered star. And I am guessing, Annie won't tell me exactly how old she is, but I know she's over 85 and she's still doing beautiful work. But I was so pleased to see a quilt from Annie this year. Boy, this booth took the ribbons. We have a quilt here called Primitive Garden. And Primitive is Garden is a quilt that is made with wool on cotton. All the applique is done in wool. This is done by Wanda Neighbors. We have a special award that we give. We bring a personality from the community in to pick out a quilt and we tell them pick out a quilt that you would want to have in your home. Uh, no this isn't that one. This one is the quilt that the members chose. This is members choice. We voted on Thursday night. Forgive me it's been a while <laughs> since I've slept good. We voted on Thursday night for the quilts that we as guild members like the best and Wanda, Wanda, Wanda won this award for members choice. I'm so pleased for it. It is, it is a beautiful, beautiful quilt. She also took a second place ribbon. This quilt got honorable mention and it is a Jacobian applique. And I think they are absolutely gorgeous. But if I had to choose a favorite quilt in this booth, it would be this quilt that took a blue ribbon. I can see that the judge and I think alike. I love 30s quilts. I love the fabric. And as you can see, it's happy fabric. And, and it is, I think, one of the most beautiful quilts I've ever seen. There's a lot of work in it. 